Hi guys, today we're going to be seeing what if Poland and the Baltics here, or Baltics, or I don't know what this area is called, but I'll probably put it in the title, this Baltic area, correct me if I'm wrong, the Baltics and Poland, we're going to see if they can make an empire, specifically Lithuania here, they used to have an empire called the Poland-Lithuanian uh, Empire, I believe, I could be wrong there as well, correct me if I'm wrong, so today we're going to see what happens if this empire here, which is already pretty good, tries to expand. Okay, so this empire here doesn't like how narrow this place is. It wants to be thick. So, they decide that they are going to want to declare war on Belarus. And they do. Oh, and by the way, whatever is in red is this empire, the Poland Lithuanian Empire, whatever is in blue is being attacked by it. And this is Belarus in this case scenario. Okay. So, now Poland and Belarus are going to, Belarus, Belarus, uh, 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 uh what? I don't know what I'm, whatever. So, Poland and Belarus are going to be fighting. Let's just do this. Okay. Poland and, and the Lithuanians probably, they want to, they're probably going to do, oh, yeah. Let's just spare it for now. They push into Belarus, and Belarus is not expecting this at all. Now, sure, they have a Russian ally here, but Russia is occupied. We'll just say that. It's occupied with some things. And Belarus's capital, is, I believe, is Minsk. It's, like, right here somewhere. So they start pushing, and Belarus's military is completely unprepared. So let's keep pushing here. They keep pushing and pushing deeper into Belarus until they are eventually stopped around uh, here. Then Belarus uh, attempts to make a counteroffensive here, and which goes pretty successfully. They trap, they uh, trap some forces here and take them out. Now, Poland and the Lithuanians, or the Poland-Lithuanian Empire, it's not happy about that. Like, uh, it is definitely not happy. So keeps pushing. They are now going to be more angry than ever. They start pushing even further. They take the capital, Minsk, and just like that, Belarus surrenders. Let's see the peace treaty. And that treaty is full annexation by the Poland-Lithuanian Empire. They have annexed all of Belarus. And they don't want to take over all these big countries like Ukraine, Germany, etc. They don't want to they can, but that's expensive, and they want to save their money for that. So they want to take over a country that's nice, but not too small. They're looking right at you, Finland. I'm sorry. So they declare war on Finland. Dun, dun, dun! Since they declare war, they do a naval landing from Estonia, and they begin to push in to Finland. Am I underestimating Finland here? Yes. Do I care? No. Not really. So they keep pushing into Finland, which goes pretty successfully. Now, Finland is not happy about this. I don't know what Finland's capital is, by the way. So, they want to do a counteroffensive. And they do. They begin their counteroffensive here. They think it's a pretty good location. And they counter the po poland Lithuania Empire a bit. This is the last punch, though. Even though that's literally the first punch. That's also the last punch. And now they're angry. Yeah. Finland is, um, uh, yeah, dead. It's gonna die soon. Finland is being swiftly being taken over by the poland Lithuania Empire. And then Finland surrenders. The treaty, full annexation. They're just not sparing anyone today. Now, they just want to take over all of the Nordics at this point. So, they declare war on Sweden. Let's see if this works. Yes. They declare war on Sweden. So, now that Sweden is going to be attacked right now, they push in from their bases in Finland. And Sweden is not having a good time. Luckily, I know where Sweden's capital is. It's here. I think it's... I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. They push in from the north with ease. 
Sweden was not prepared for this. The land of Ikea's, Ikea. They do a naval landing here, and they begin to push in. They're aiming for the capital, and these tr these two fronts try to unite. And right now, Sweden is doing a counteroffensive here to stop them from attacking their capital, and they push this army here back, 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 and they do a minor uh, counteroffensives in the north. But sadly. That's also going to be the last punch. And the Poland-Lithuanian Empire keeps pushing. And this time, they unite their fronts, but only loosely. But now they're getting more thick. And they keep pushing into Sweden. They're going to keep doing it. They're not stopping. It's a non-stop. It's like Blitzkrieg, but faster. Or slower, I don't know. And then they make a swift attack for the capital, which I believe is yours. Sorry if I got it wrong, Sweden. And Sweden... Surrenders. Let's, let's look at the peace treaty. Yup, you've probably guessed it. Full annexation by the Poland-Lithuanian um, Empire. Now, they feel strong enough to take over a big country. And they want to get some revenge. Well, specifically, this dude over here, Poland. And they decide that they want to attack Germany. And that is exactly what they are going to do. So. They begin a push into Germany, which is pretty swift, and they try and attack Berlin as quickly as possible. But it is stalled, because Germany is not a weakling. And so they just try and take over the north of it, which goes pretty successful. Now, Germany is quite shocked, and they're quite strong. So they do a huge counteroffensive here, and they even begin to touch the border with, Pol with the Poland lithuanian Empire. Luckily, here is where it gets good for the Poland Lithuanian Empire. They start pushing and further and further into try and capture Berlin, which is their main objective right now. And they successfully encircle this big amount of troops, including the city of Berlin, which is like right here. And even after fierce resistance, they take it over. Now they're just trying to take over Frankfurt, which is an economic capital of Germany, which they do so successfully. And then Germany, sadly, well, not sadly, but surprisingly, that's the word, is taken over and has to surrender. Let's look at the peace treaty. And uh, you kind of get the drill by now. Full annexation. Now, they just want to grow a little bit stronger until they become a world power, basically. So they decide... They are going to invade Czechia and Slovakia, or if you want to call it Czechoslovakia. So, this is where the invasion begins. They start a small push here in Czechia, right about there. They get closer and closer. Uh, I believe the capital of Czechia is Prague, which I think is right here or something. I don't know about Slovakia. Anyway. There, the Poland-Lithuanian Empire is able to cut off some troops here, which they swiftly take over. And then they keep pushing into Slovakia. And then in Czechia here, they are aiming for the capital. And uh, there's nothing Czechia can really do here. I mean, when you have an empire this big coming after you, I don't think you can do much. They split Czechia and Slovakia in half, just to uh, so they can't help each other, I guess. And Slovakia falls. Czechia is still trying to resist, but uh, Poland Lithuanian Empire captures Prague and Czechia surrenders. Now let's look at the final peace treaty of this video. And of course, why is anyone surprised? Fall annexation. Now this is the Poland Lithuanian Empire now. This is their final form. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe if you want, I mean, I can't force you guys to do anything, but I just hope you're enjoying this, uh, you enjoyed this video, and, uh, this is a very buff Polish-Lithuanian, uh, empire, not what it used to be, but pretty buff, and, uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, have a great day, evening, or morning, bye.